one of the one things that we wanted to do is create a facility, a technology facility that people could look at and be proud of and then look and think, hey, this isn't our grandfather's shop. The concept behind this building was not only a state-of-the-art facility that has within it a manufacturing equipment and technology, but also a space that is bright and open and inviting and clean to kind of draw students into and begin to change the perception around what it is to have a career in the manufacturing sector. In some capacity, you walk in and you think you're in a museum because of the beauty and the art and the, um, the creativity that people went to design this space. One of the primary goals of this building, which was a little bit unique, is to make sure that it had a very high-tech, inviting look because a goal is to um, promote modern manufacturing as a career. We house our um, industrial manufacturing um, courses and programs. We also have a fab lab here, a wonderful collaboration space for students and community groups to use. The collaboration space, for example, that's something that's kind of new, so we're modeling that from industry. You go into local um, businesses and they have collaboration spaces. The concept behind the Fab Lab is having equipment you can walk in and if you just have some snicker of an idea to kind of walk in and learn how to use quickly and then start making what you want to make. And so we have 3D printers, we have lasers, we have CNC um, routers, we have sewing machines for those, again, for, for, for every different type of person that wants to walk in and create something. The labs themselves are all aligned so you can stand one space, no matter we are in that lab, and look all the way through and see your whole potential in front of you, whether it be standing in the fab lab, looking down and seeing the robots, looking further down, seeing the machine shop, even further than that, seeing the welding space. So really our goal was to have connectivity um, to the labs, to the classrooms. Um, there's nothing better than taking theory and in talking about it than going out in the lab and applying it. So the college has a history of working with Progressive AE, has worked with Progressive AE in the past and, and um, found their team to be helpful and knowledgeable and professional. And so when the funding was in place and we decided to move forward with this project, it was a good fit. We've worked with Progressive AE for several projects here at the college. And so I've had interaction with those folks for a long time. So it was kind of like working with family. We trusted them, um, they've worked well with us. And so really that's kind of what made it an easy selection for us to help, help us design and build this building. They're professional and they know how to um, navigate the collaborative tension that's necessary if you want to get to the best project and end result possible. We've seen a lot of great activity at the, at the Tech Center since we've opened up. Um, anywhere from the arts and sciences all the way through our machine tool numbers. This year actually numbers have done pretty well. We've seen increased numbers in welding, machining, um, any, uh, most of all of our manufacturing classes we've seen increases in. Um, and so basically now is connecting those folks to jobs. I mean, that's really the, the key to what we're doing is connecting the students again to that theory, that application, and getting them all to a gainful wage job.